It's your girl, Talisa K, and yes, I am checking in. Welcome back to my channel, and thank you so much for your subscriptions, your likes, comments, and sharing the content on my channel. If you are new to this channel and this video fell on your newsfeed, I believe this is a word from the Lord, and I would like to invite you to hit that subscribe notifications bell, and please feel free to like, comment, and share the content, and let me be the first to welcome you to TK's family. You guys, I have a quick word. It's a unique word, and it's actually a word of warning. The word is supercilious. When I first heard this word a few years ago, of course, I went to the dictionary because I had never heard the word before. But a couple weeks ago, I heard the Lord speak to me about this word, the word supercilious. This word is a word of warning for the people who are pompous, egotistical. An acronym for ego is edging God out. You don't want to edge God out. You don't want to think that you're so high that you don't need God. You don't want people to think that you did it all by yourself. There's a statement written at the top of a chapter in Ezekiel, right above Ezekiel 17. And it says, the great tree made small and the small tree made great. The Lord sent me to that scripture reading the other night. And when I saw that, that's what the Lord is saying. The Lord is going to chop down, so to speak, some of these people who are high and mighty, the people who are worried about relationships go and status and credentials and Gucci and Louis. He is going to make the small tree great. He's raising up some of those people, those prophetic people, those people who are serving him, those people who are humble. Be humble, my sisters and my brother. The Lord does not play with us. He says in his word, he hates proud people. There's another scripture reference that reminded me of the word supercilious, pompous, arrogant. In Matthew 23, 12, it says, those who exalt themselves will be humbled and those who humble themselves will be exalted. My sister, my brother, humble yourself. Don't let the Lord do it for you. I remember a season in my life when I thought I was looking good, riding good, styling good, doing all these things. And the Lord slowly, slowly but surely chopped me down. And there was a season in my life where I didn't have a job. I lost two jobs. I was almost homeless. I had literally gave up a lot of the material things because I said, Lord, I'm tired. I'm surrendering this to you. And in that season and in those dark times, the times when I thought I had it going on, the Lord showed me that I need to seek the kingdom. And I believe that is in Matthew 6, seek ye the kingdom. God will give you everything that you need. And a lot of the stuff that we want, but do we want the things more than we want God? I don't know about you, but I need God. And I don't want to be so arrogant, so high and mighty that I miss the very best that God has for me. So for whoever you are, if this is you or if this is for somebody that you know, please share this video because God is speaking to people who are bragging on the things that they have and where they're going and who they know and all of this name dropping. God is not pleased with us. Well, I know this is a unique word. This is a prophetic word, a word of warning for some people. Be encouraged, my sisters and my brothers. It's not about what you look like all the time. It's not about what you wear. It's not about who you know. It's not about the job. It's not about the status. It's not about being married or single. It's about serving God and waiting on him and being in his, in his perfect will. All right. I pray that you humble yourself before the Lord. And that's in Jesus name. Thank you guys so very much for tuning in. I pray that you continue to be blessed, safe, and well. Until next time. I love you guys. Bye now.